Hello guys, welcome back to another Android tutorial. In the last two episodes, we already learned about how to place a banner art and interstitial art from Atmob in your Android application. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to place a native art from Atmob in your Android application. The native arts are similar to banner art. The only difference is that you can customize the appearance of the ad unit. You can customize the background color, text color, uh, button background color, button text style, text size, etc. And you can change all these property by changing a simple CSS file available in Atmob. That is another important advantage of using native words. Once you publish your Android application, if you want to change the appearance of the ad unit, there is no need to update your application. Instead, you can change the ad behavior by changing a CSS file available in your AdMob account. So now I am going to show you how to place a native ad from AdMob in your Android application. So the first step, you have to create a new ad unit in your AdMob account. So open your AdMob account, select your Android application and select ad units. And here create a new ad unit so here we are going to place a native ad so select native ad here you have three option uh, you have to select your ad size here is the small size medium and large here I'm going to select a medium ad size from here you can choose an appropriate template for your Android application so I select this one from this page uh, you can customize the ad appearance so here is the basic ad settings and here is the css file if you are exporting css you can entirely customize the appearance of the ad unit so here is the basic settings uh, here i am going to try to change the background color of the ad unit i change it into a red color and here the add background color is changed now try to change the font color here the text color is changed and here is the title text color here is the button background color button text color etc so here is the css file Uh, now I'm going to change the button text style uh, we need to find out the button text area here it is button text I'm going to change the button text style so here I add a CSS property font weight I change that one into bold and here you can see now the button text is bold so by using this CSS file you can customize the entire ad unit so after select appropriate ad behavior uh, you can click this button uh, validate style so now Google validate that ad unit and here everything looks good now you can save your ad unit so from here uh, you can specify the refresh rate of the ad uh, you can customize the refresh rate of the ad from here and you have to specify an art unit name so here I specify an art unit name and finally we can save the art unit So like a banner ad and interstitial ad here also we have uh, we have we have to specify the app id we have to specify the ad unit id in our android application so now i'm going to place this uh, native ad in my android application uh, now we are going to place the native ad into our android application so here I'm going to use the same Android application used in the last two episodes. So we already place a banner ad and an interstitial ad in between activity 1 and activity 2. So now I'm going to place the 
native word in activity second root xml so here the root element is a relative layout i change that one into a linear layout now specify the orientation for this layout uh, we need this xml namespace i change that one into ads so here is a text view is available so after that text view here uh, i'm going to place the native express ad so native express ad view specify width i specify width as wrap content height is also wrap content now align this one to the center layout center uh, we can change the layout gravity into center horizontal okay now specify a margin at the top uh, layout margin top 25 tp uh, now specify an id for this id unit Okay, now we can specify the add unit ID and add size. So, always use test starts to check your application. Uh, go to the official documents of AtMob. AtMob employee tutorial. Go to the official documents. Go to the standalone app mob version. Now here is a test starts. Go to that. And here is the sample at unit ID for the test starts. So here uh, we are going to place a native express at. So I select this one. Now let's place the at unit ID here. So use the newly created XML namespace. Add unit ID. And specify add unit ID here. Now specify the size. Add size. I specify size into 300. 300 by uh, 220 okay now we successfully place a native express ad in second activity now open second activity dot java create some variables for native express ad view now initialize that variable native express id view uh, type cast that one into native express id view now find it now we can load the add on the id unit so native express id view dot load add new add request Under request dot builder and call the build method so here i'm going to test it on a virtual device so add a test device under request dot device id emulator and that's it so now we successfully place a native ad into the central Eat application now we can test it Uh, now here the virtual device is ready now we can run the application uh, now the application available on this virtual device uh, here is the banner ad now start the second activity so here is the interstitial ad in between first and second activity i close the ad now here is the second activity and it is show a native ad 
So this is how we place an AT Ward in our Android application. I hope you understand all these concepts. Please subscribe this channel for getting more Android tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.